So I figured out how to charge my Tesla for 25 bucks a month. Let me show you how. Hey, I'm Ben Sullins and welcome to Teslanomics, the show where I decode the data behind Tesla, a company that's really changing our world. And today I'm excited because I have data about using the sun to power your Tesla. And specifically what I want to show you is the setup I got on my house. And granted, I live in a place that's really sunny, San Diego, California. And I use a ton of electricity because I have an EV, plus I work from home and all those kind of things. So whether or not it makes sense for you, I'll let you decide. In fact, I have other videos on that. But here I just wanted to show you essentially what the cost is now that I have solar. And essentially I'm getting all my energy through that instead of from the grid. So stay tuned and we'll dive into the data here in a second. The system I ended up with is 5.12 kilowatts. I have 16 panels on my roof and they basically offset all of the energy I need. Uh, you can see in my specs here that I also have included a Tesla Powerwall, which I do not have yet. I'm still waiting on that, but once I do have that, I'll for sure update you and show you exactly how I'm using that to kind of offset my rate. The key thing on this slide is that previously I was paying about $190 per month, and now my bill is gonna be only $10 a month. That is because there's a $10 a month utility fee just to be connected to the grid. Now, the way that shakes out on an annual basis is that essentially I was paying almost $2,300 before, now I'm only looking at about $120. And again, that's simply because of that fee. So, so this system is going to generate all the energy I need, including that to charge my Tesla. So let's take a look at the price now and see essentially what the solar is gonna be costing me on a monthly basis. It starts out by taking a look at the total system price, which was just over $20,000. When you subtract out the 30% ITC, that's the federal tax credit, we're down to about $14,000 as a net cost. So $14,000 for 16 panels and to essentially offset 100% of my electricity needs with the exception of that monthly utility fee. If I take a look at this on a monthly basis, well, we have a 25 year warranty on the system. So on an annual basis, that's $562. Remember I was paying 2,300 just about before, but monthly that would come out to $47 plus that utility fee and my total monthly cost for electricity, that is essentially the solar cost plus the utility fee is $57. So how much of this will be for my Tesla? Well, I took a look at the previous year and I broke it down by the percentage used for each different rate tier. Now the rate tiers for me are the time of day. I have a time of use rating system and I only charge my Tesla from midnight to 5 a.m. in what is considered the super off peak, which is the red one on this chart. So if you take a look at that, the percentage of that rate it kind of varies, right? It goes up really high early on and then it kind of dips down, but overall the average for my super off-peak usage is 45%. Okay, so we now know what our monthly charges are and what the Tesla is gonna be using, so we're there. We have our total monthly cost of $57, that's for all of our electricity, then the usage rate of 45% just for the Tesla, which gives me a total of $26 per month to charge my Tesla. Now. I don't drive a lot. I drive about 800 miles or so. It's because I work from home, but a lot of other folks are gonna be driving more. So I wanted to put this in perspective in terms of what it might be like to compare this to the cost of gas, of fueling your car. So I did that analysis as well. And where I live in San Diego, in how much I drive, it would be about $92 per month. And I got all the data from Gas Buddy, and I looked up a lot of different fuel economy stats to come up with this number. And I'll put all the links to those in the description below. So when you subtract out the monthly cost of my Tesla, the 26 bucks, which is what it is now with solar, I'm saving about $66 a month. So not a tremendous amount of money, but if you annualize this, it comes out to just under 800 bucks. And if we wanted to be silly, we could think if I kept my car for 25 years and nothing else went wrong, I'd be saving almost $20,000 over that time span. So thanks for joining me on another episode. I hope this data helped you and I hope you decide to get a Tesla and or solar. If you are in the market, please use our referral code, teslanomics.co slash TD. It'll redirect you over, you get all the details and save a thousand bucks on a Tesla right there. And if you're new to the show, please consider subscribing. It won't cost you a thing. If you don't subscribe anytime, it won't hurt my feelings. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you back here next time.